So this is uh, called a hip spica for hip and groin. What I want to do is put him in a position where his knee and hip are flexed. So I have his foot up on a, a ball. I could also use a football helmet. That would give me enough height on it. And I want to put him in the correct position first of all. So what I want to do is have him turn his foot internally rotated and then make sure his hips are squared to me. He's going to feel really uncomfortable off balance. I've had athletes that are, have had to hold on to something or even put their hands on their sh my shoulders. Uh, but this is the position we want them in. So what I want to do is go take the wrap around his thigh, his upper thigh, and then fold that corner down and come around one more time. As I bring this around, I want to bring this right on his iliac crest. So what I'm going to do, sometimes hold the shirt up a little bit to find that hip bone. I'm going to bring this up and around, split that wrap on his iliac crest, use that as a shelf come around and then down. Spica means uh, figure eight, so there's our figure eight. And we just keep continue and repeat this. Just staying right over the top of previous ones. And then I don't have enough to go around his uh, waist again, so I'm just going to finish this off by um, going around his thigh. Now, ideally, you want to do this under the shorts. Or if they're an athlete that wears pants, baseball, football, you can do this over their, pant, over their shorts under their pants. Um, but I'm going to finish this off by going around his thigh and then following the wrap like so to help hold that on. And then when I tear it off, always dog ear the tape. And that's the hip spica.